My full name was Arthur James McClure, 23rd of March 1918. I was born. My parents lived at River Road uh, at Upper Caboolture, uh, and uh, uh, I was reared on, uh, and uh, uh, they had a di big dairy farm up there. And uh, when I was born, there was no hospital in Caboolture before that hospital was built, and my mother uh, went to a private hospital in Sandgate. That's what I understand, this um, Sandgate. And I wasn't interested in joining the army and going overseas. It was when the Japs came into the, into, uh, into the war that I decided to join up. And um, I joined up and um, uh, as I said, I lived here at, at the river, and I went to uh, uh, East Melbourne in Brisbane, where I attended a topographical survey school to learn on uh, making maps and wartime places. Uh, while waiting to uh, go to New Guinea, the first lot of bombs were dropped from Darwin, and I shot straight to Darwin uh, because a lot of that area on the coast and everywhere, uh, were, they had no maps, no nothing. And I went to Darwin, and from from there, I was sent out to do topographical surveys. Uh, uh, ma mapping with a plane table and pencil. Uh, and I went out, I sat out on the Daly River in the Northern Territory. And from the Daly River, I was picked to, to, to follow the Daly down to the mouth of the Daly River as I had, n had no known maps or anything. I was given a rowboat and another fellow. So one rode, uh, while the other was sat there with a rifle, the crocs, crocodiles were swimming around. At night time, this happened at night, uh, I, we went up any high bank we could and light a fire, and one slept and the other kept the fire going. If the fire went out, we would have been crocodiles. It was lovely uh, to g get a report about what me and this other bloke done, uh, which appeared in, it appeared in, a, in a, an army paper here. Hmm. So that's what I did. Uh, after spending some time there, I came back home. And from there, I was sent. Uh, overseas. I was sent to New Guinea firstly uh, and, uh, and to, uh, uh, and it on a place called Moritai Island. Uh, from Moritai Island I was picked to, to be take do the landing in Balak Papin in Borneo. I was in there and I happened to be, uh, I was given a jeep and uh, enough rations for five or six days and of course my own gun and so on and so forth. I'd lost a few mates were taken, died in POW camps, prison, that sort of thing. Uh, and uh, and uh, I, a couple of occasions, uh, rescuing a couple of fellas. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. So there I, I went. Uh, uh, it's terrible. Yes. Uh, you don't want me to talk about what I seen.
Well, I was a, I was a topographical surveyor. I was there to make a, and I was picked uh, to uh, to uh, travel a river to interior part of uh, Borneo uh, to report there had been uh, some terrible things happened there. Mm. Quite interesting it was in, on the Rico River. It was the whole area was covered with jungles and you went through the water and up in the trees were the monkeys. Mm. You've seen the monkeys all the time in there, yeah. Mm. Yes, yes, ah oh, yes. I was very fortunate. I was very fortunate. But, uh, yes. Mm. Oh dear. Yes, uh, I've seen some terrible things. The flame. F oh well, I will tell you. The, the flame thrower turned on to human beings. Yeah. And uh, I was probably one of the first to come back from Borneo. And the only reason I was that the Premier of Queensland, Sir Francis Nicklin, was a, a friend of my father's. And he just rang Fang up and said, get out home. And I, I was one of the, the first to um, I come back in a British aircraft carrier called the Implacable. See, the boat was, the boat was too big to get into Brisbane, the big aircraft carrier. Mm. It's the first sight I've ever seen whales. As we come down the Queensland Coast, the whales are all coming up. It's very impressive when I've been on the one of the first to ride back in Australia. Yes, it was Israel as a sight. I never forget. As you come to Sydney Harbour, all the people on the headlines. Welcome to Sin. Hmm. Welcome us back to Australia. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm back home, back home then. Hmm. After I come back from the war, I got married and uh, uh, lived at River Road up at Caboolture yeah. again. Hmm. Uh, but I lost my. Uh, my wife uh, some 20 years ago, mm. yes. My parents uh, had a, a, a dairy farm and he, he wanted to retire and he asked me to take over the dairy farm for him. But um, milking cows, getting up and uh, what my peddler fish, I broke away from there and I, I started uh, growing bananas a banana grow up and um, I had a, had a big big plantation as you go up the Mulaney, uh, leave uh, Lansbrough and go up the Mulaney range on your lands, I had a big plantation in there. Mm. So that's what I did. I become involved in the Royal National Show in Brisbane and I was Chief Pavilion Steward, uh, one part of 
Then I, well, I was, and, and also Kabuchi shows as well. I see Pavilion Stewart there, hmm. and, and them places, yeah. Yeah, I got in very involved in the town. Uh, you've heard of Rotary. I'm a Paul Harris. I don't know what a Paul Harris Fellowship of Rotary. Why someone might have been over there. Yeah. Uh, they're over inside, I think. Yeah. Paul Harris. And uh, 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 the Show Society and the Royal Brisbane National Show. Uh, I was very involved with that. Hmm. So. When they decided to start Meals and Wheels, I uh, I was asked to, I, I, I was in Rotary at the time, so I had some seven seven years of summer as president of the Meals and Wheels in Kabuchi. Uh, and at the same time, I uh, I'd gone to Rotary meetings, and then I joined the uh, Probus Club. So I'm pretty active in life uh, and that sort of thing, yeah. Mm. I was, I was one of the first in the Kabucha RSL and I think my my number is number nine. I wonder, I, was, I, was, I was on the RSL committee in Kabucha and uh, uh, when they formed the RSL, I was involved in the RSL, mm, in there, yes, uh, and uh, and I served uh, quite some time on it, yeah, on the committee. <coughs> I was very uh, involved with Anzac Day, and nearly, nearly every, I don't know if you attended any NAGs and Zach services here or not, but uh, I used to be, uh, all, uh, in later years I was, I was always in the Jeep, uh, lead the march, yeah, yeah. And I went down there and uh, and uh, presented me reef, yeah. But uh, it was it was great uh, uh, being in that march and and uh, uh, and being able to lead the march too, mm. because uh, I suppose you're born and bred. Mm. Uh, you realise when you see all that that you used to be able to do it and, uh, and to know that you were involved. Some people, they came back, they didn't want nothing more to do with the arm, but I was different. I lost a few mates and uh, I, I wanted to get involved in it. And, yeah, yeah. That's I, why I got involved. Well, I was involved in the Kabucha RSL for many years. Hmm. Yes, uh, there's a st still, uh, I think the, the last year I went in the, yeah, they took me in the Jeep last year. Hmm. Yeah, on the lead in the march, yeah. I was able to go to the war and I'm proud of, that I went and I, I'm glad I, I played my part. And I felt, I had to, to go, I'd have something to proud of. If I didn't go, all my mates who went, I'd be left out. And to be one of them uh, and uh, be involved in RSL, I'd get involved in that. Mm. I think so, that's what it is, yeah. yeah. Well, when you're young like that, it's, it's, it's an adventure sort of, to, yeah. When they tell me where, wherever I went, yeah, uh, they uh, they had. Uh, I know when I finished the school uh, in Melbourne on topographical survey, uh, no one wanted to go to Darwin. They wanted to come back to Queensland, you see, but no, no, not me. So uh, I went to straight to straight to Darwin. Uh, where uh, I got plenty of entertainment. <laughs> yeah, plenty of entertainment. <laughs> mm. 
Well, if I look at my lifestyle, I always I got involved with a lot of community. I was Rotary, um, I Paul Harris Fellowship of Rotary, and uh, uh, that's a, a, a Rotary is really a, a worldwide uh, international thing. Mm. There is uh, to to get an award from Rotary was a big thing for me. Get involved and do what they can to help help uh, people who are less fortunate than what you are. I think what I've done like that, and I just get a sense of satisfaction out of helping or doing something. Hmm. I I don't know what else I could add to that. But that's about it. Yeah. I, I I enjoyed being involved in community work. Yeah. Always involved in enjoy, enjoy with the community. Yeah.